Hello everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to another Tweet Garden Tech review of a GOG.com game. This time we're looking at Space Quest 3. So I'm going to show you how to make the game look a little bit better and sound better. Uh, we're going to improve the graphics through setting some changes in the DOSBox config file and we're also going to uh, set the MUNT emulator to get Roland MT32 music which is really good in this game. So let's go to our Space Quest uh, 3 folder and here is the DOSBox config file. And let's have a look. A couple changes we have to do. Now I'm gonna set the full screen mode to false. I want to run it in window mode so we can actually see the MT32 emulator uh, start up and uh, how it all works. The full screen resolution, set that to your native resolution of your monitor. On mine it's 1920 by 1080. And window resolution, I'm just going to go with 800 by 600. For the output, got a couple of options. You can go with OpenGL, OpenGL non-bilinear or direct draw. Uh, OpenGL has a slightly softer image, but the text is easier to read. It doesn't have uh, any... Uh, hard to explain what you call it, just uh, scaling artifacts, I would say. Um, whereas on OpenGL, non-bilinear and direct draw, the text looks a little bit, a uh, little bit off. So I'm gonna go with OpenGL, but you just choose whatever uh, you prefer. Um, let's go down. Then under render, uh, we change the aspect ratio correction to true because otherwise the image will be stretched in 16 by 10 aspect ratio, but in the old days the ratio was actually 4 by 3. Um, it was more squarish, not really a full square, but more squarish than a uh, widescreen. For the processor, I don't recommend using maximum cycles. I would go with fixed uh, 4000, that's a, a good setting for a, goal, uh, a game that's that old. Then we're gonna boost the sample rate to 48000 for the mixer and we also have to do a setting here to get our MUNT emulator going. So I'm just gonna um, fire MUNT up and to get the MIDI config number what we do is we just uh, run DOSBox on its own and we type in mixer slash MIDI list and oh that was the wrong one list MIDI is the other way around yeah so by default it will use the built-in Windows uh, MIDI device but we want to use the MT32 emulator so we have to put a MIDI config one in there so let's close that and we'll put one in there um, and if you do prefer to play with the sound blaster I also recommend that we boost the sample rate to 48 thousand now we're not done yet we need also to fix two uh, sound drivers inside the game there are two sound drivers there is one for the sound blaster and there's another one for the uh, mt32 driver the problem is that with the sound blaster driver there is a, a little scene in the beginning of the intro where roger Wilco actually uh, says something um, and the driver that shipped with the game is actually bugged, so you actually won't hear the sound effect. Where am I? So you need to replace the Sound Blaster driver with an updated version. Again, let me just do that again. And if you're listening with the MT32, with the MUNT emulator, you can also listen to the sound effect by using the MT Blast driver. Where am I? So these are uh, just later drivers that fix the issue. The last thing we need to do is configure the um, config file of the game, resource config. And instead of using the Sound Blaster driver, we just have it to tell, um, tell it that we're going to use the uh, MT Blast driver. And we're going to go File, Save. And I think everything is configured correctly. So I put my emulator over here. 
and I'll launch Space Quest 3 and we should see Munt um, coming up. And once that's over, I'm just gonna switch to full screen so we can check out the game in all its glory. And that's really it for this video. Now all the files, so if you're looking for those sound driver files and links to Munt, um, I put it down in the description. You can also go to my website, I put in a new section for the gg.com tech reviews and tweak guides. In terms of Munt, uh, I also put in the installation link. You just have to install it and you also need the uh, ROM files and you just need to uh, Tick them here. Don't ask me where to get them from. Um, I own all, all the Roland units, so that's how I cover my uh, legal backside. Um, don't ask me for ROMs. I'm not gonna uh, supply them or tell you where you can find them. But look, the internet is is a, a place that has all sorts of things. So that's all I'm saying. Um, as always, hit the like button. Leave me uh, a comment if you found this interesting or if you've got any. Uh, feedback for me, um, check out my website, philscomputerlab.com, lots of cool stuff on there, and I'll see you in uh, another video.